Africa's San or Bushmen hunter-gatherers are the world's original trackers. Since time immemorial, the San have tracked, hunted and gathered food and medicinal plants across the southern African landscape. San knowledge of this ecology represents one of the world's deepest archives of traditional knowledge. But today, sand tracking is an endangered art. During colonialism, the sand lost most of their ancestral territories and in most places today, traditional hunting is outlawed. As a result, sand traditional lifestyle is disappearing and the art of tracking is dying. Karowa Langwani is one of the last sand master trackers of his generation. He's using CyberTracker, an innovative satellite-linked tracking tool. CyberTracker was developed as free open source software by world-renowned tracking expert Louis Liebenberg. Karowa here, this is a kudu that he has run down using the persistence hunt, which we now believe may well go back almost two million years. Karawa, incidentally, is one of the very last of the sound trackers who've done the persistence hunt. And he's also the mo one of the most proficient users of the cyber tracker. Where the idea for cyber tracker came from is I was hunting with traditional trackers who still hunt with bow and arrow. And I realized that as they go out on a hunt, they scan the area and they gather a huge amount of very complex information from tracks and signs. And analyzing that, they know the movements of the animals, etc. They're doing that in a way which I believe is essentially the origins of science itself. They are making observations, they're creating hypotheses, they're explaining it, and they're making predictions of animal movements. And I thought that if we could somehow capture that, it could be of enormous value for scientific research on animal behavior and for conservation in terms of monitoring wildlife. CyberTracker is also critically useful in empowering marginalized hunter-gatherer communities. Tools like CyberTracker have potential to help indigenous people in Africa to advocate for their land rights and for their territories. It's very, very crucial and essential for uh, tradition and uh, cultural norms to be kept alive because a nation or a group without a tradition, it's doomed to fail. Uh, and that's the situation and the predicament that uh, most of the minority groups find themselves today. The first end user was the expert tracker who cannot read or write. So the challenge was to develop a user interface with a touchscreen technology that makes it possible for somebody who cannot read or write to enter very complex data. So it's all icon based. You simply touch an icon on a screen, you go to the next screen, you touch the next icon. So it's broken down into very simple steps, but put together, it combines into very complex data. CyberTracker thus enables the development of dynamic interactive maps of ecosystems and land use patterns. Here in Namibia, Louis demonstrates CyberTracker to African delegates attending a workshop on the effective use of information communication technologies. We do uh, wildlife monitoring. Mm -hmm. we, we put in all the tracks for the jackals, the birds, the, the, the kudu, the antelopes. The tracks of the hare and the jackal appear to be very fresh. They might have gone here early morning at dawn. The delegates represent hunter-gatherer and nomadic pastoralist communities, which have a vested interest in monitoring wildlife populations and plant biodiversity in their territories. In Botswana, CyberTracker is being used to monitor wildlife movements in a proposed migration corridor between two wildlife reserves, the Central Kalahari Game Reserve and the Khalakhadi Transfrontier Park. Karowa is employed on this project, which is funded by Conservation International. We are working for the project called Western Kalahari Conservation Corridor, and we are using CyberTracker where we use these same trackers. Uh, to be able to identify animals and plants that are in, in the project area. The purpose of the corridor is to allow wildlife to be able to move from one protected area to the other. The ultimate goal is to uh, establish a corridor between protected areas, but also develop uh, the livelihoods of the people in the area. With CyberTracker, we designed it such that you can actually collect all information about the ecosystem. Uh, we can collect animal uh, sightings, animal spores, animal droppings. We also have uh, recordings for plants. 
Here, Karoa identifies a medicinal plant and inputs the data. It's an adaptive tool that allows screen icons to be customized for local use. Over time, this kind of resource mapping also assists in monitoring biodiversity and climate change. When the triangle appears, the plant's precise location has been captured by the GPS device. Job opportunities open up for traditional trackers who are trained and accredited in the use of CyberTracker. This encourages the retention of age-old traditional skills and ensures they will be passed on to the next generation of traditional trackers. The traditional bow and arrow is no longer the most efficient way for them to earn a living. So where the cyber tracker comes in, it creates a job opportunity for people to use traditional tracking skills and to be paid for it to do wildlife monitoring in a modern context. There's accelerating global interest in CyberTracker, and diverse groups are now using it worldwide. There are not enough scientists to do aerial game counts and transects and so on, to be able to get enough data to really get an idea of what's really happening out there. With citizen science, we can get millions of volunteers on a global basis to contribute towards that data. And the researchers are then analyzing that data uh, and, and to, to look for trends in, in movements of populations in response to climate change. You can draw correlations between different projects that would otherwise never be linked together. And in that way, we can get a much better concept of what's happening to the entire ecosystem. What is the real impact of climate change on biodiversity itself on a global level? CyberTracker thus enables indigenous peoples to make a powerful contribution to biodiversity conservation and to the fight against global warming. CyberTracker also enables indigenous peoples to engage in effective policy dialogue and to mobilize for recognition of their land and cultural rights. Mm-hmm.